We begin this week outside the International Space Station, where NASA astronauts Kayla Barron and Raja Shari spacewalked to install mod kits ahead of the rollout of a third solar array. This comes after weeks of threats from the head of Russia's space agency Roscosmos to withdraw support and cosmonauts from the ISS, retaliation against Western sanctions as Russia continues waging war on neighboring Ukraine. The station's manager at a briefing on Earth said so far that's not happened. At this time, there's no indication from our Russian partners that they want to do anything different. So uh, we are planning to continue operations as, as we are today. Futurism.com reporting Roscosmos Director General Dmitry Rogozin, the Twitter source for threats of abandoning the ISS, tweeted written appeals to NASA and other space agencies to lift sanctions. The site reports Rogozin now forbids agency employees from traveling abroad, fearing they won't return to Russia. In other news, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, seen here on Earth, captured this still image from space of a star in a recent test shot. The image shows Webb's infrared capabilities as the star is 100 times fainter than what our eyes can see. That's because it's 2,000 light years away. Adding to NASA scientists' excitement is the photobomb of ancient stars and galaxies in the background, themselves likely billions of light years away. For reference, one light year is more than nine and a half trillion kilometers. The engineering images that we saw today um, are as sharp and as crisp as the images that Hubble can take, but are at a wavelength of light that is totally invisible to Hubble. So this is making the invisible universe snapping into very, very sharp focus. The test photo in Webb's fine phasing stage makes way for the first science images, which we can expect in June or July. Finally this week, ahead of NASA's plans for extended stays on the moon, comes a prototype of the next-generation lunar rover. Los Angeles-based startup Venturi Astrolab created the Flexible Logistics and Exploration Vehicle, or FLEX for short. Its creators say FLEX can handle tasks that would otherwise bog down astronauts. Astronaut time is, of course, really precious. They're only going to be on the, the surface for days at a time, at least in the first, first, uh, first missions. And um, so it's important to have platforms that can do things like construction, infrastructure deployment, conduct science, exploration, uh, you know, even before the astronauts arrive. Creators say Flex can drive by remote control or astronauts on board. Run by solar-powered batteries, the company says Flex can drive two astronauts for eight continuous hours or survive 300 hours in the extreme cold of lunar darkness. NASA has yet to adopt Flex for its Artemis program. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.